Welcome to Your Town Television pr Program. I'm your host, Paula Joy McNabb, and I have one of my favorite topics, a woman who's going to speak about one of my favorite topics, which is food and wonderful things to eat and drink. Sarah Wood is the editor and publisher, publisher of Edible Monterey County Magazine, or Edible Monterey Magazine. Thanks. And I have been collecting them, as, as she and I discovered. I've been collecting <laughs> most of them since since they started. So I'm delighted to welcome Sarah to the program. Thank you. Good morning. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. <laughs> yeah. Great to be here. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's my <laughs> pleasure. Hmm. Well, we have got such a great legacy of food and wine and culture here on the Monterey Peninsula. And everywhere we go, there are beautiful restaurants, incredible wineries, and, and so on and so forth. So it's such a rich area culturally. Um, and so what made you decide to do, first of all, tell us, what is Edible Monterey? Okay, okay, well, it, it, it acts, oh, let's, oh yeah. Let's show a copy okay, okay. first here. I don't know if we can see this here. It's a beautiful magazine, and they come out how often? Quarterly. Quarterly, yeah. and they are free. Yes. And where are they available? They're available all over um, um, Santa Cruz, Monterey, and, and San Benito counties. We actually cover the whole tri-county area, and um, and you can find the locations if, if you go online at www.ediblemontereybay.com. But but um, but but we have more than 350. You have a lot locations. of great places where yes. you drop them off. I know yes. I picked mine up. I think outside the Carmel Library. Okay. I think is one yes. and the post office, and so. Mm -hmm. They're very accessible if you just if people keep their eye out for them. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So tell us what what's the premise of the magazine? What's well, in that magazine, <laughs> Sarah? <laughs> Thank you. Well, we're we're part of um, a network of, of of more than 80 magazines around North America that that like a, a an affiliation of 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 edible magazines, but but were locally owned and run by mm -hmm. myself and my husband Rob, who's right. a co-publisher. Um, and um, and we're all about telling stories mm -hmm. and and telling stories about the amazing um, wineries and chefs and farms that you, that you alluded to at the beginning um, when we when we first came to the area actually actually before we even moved to the area um, I had been familiar with the the edible community of magazines and and when Rob was first interviewing for his job at St. Dunstan's Church. Right. He's the he's the rector there. Um, um, I noticed that there was no edible here, <laughs> and it seems like such a shame because there are these, oh, again these such a rich area. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in fact, there was no magazine that was devoted just to the local food and agricultural world. And yeah. so, um, and so, about a year after we moved here, I, I, um, we started it. Now, how long ago was that, Sarah? Eight years. Well, actually, seven. Year, years ago that, that we started the magazine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So were you yeah. given some guidance of format of how to do this? I mean, it's a pretty daunting uh, undertaking to <laughs> say, I'm going to start a magazine. Um, how did that how did that develop? Share the, a bit of your own personal story there. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I had been a journalist and a, um, you know, a, and a magazine editor before, mm. but, but, um, but not covering food. Most recently, I had Covered well. I had been an editor of a financial magazine, mm -hmm, actually. Mm -hmm. So, but but food and growing food, cooking food, sharing food with friends, like has been a lifelong passion. And so, um, and and uh, um, and so I that that's what made me want to do it. And and I did get support from from edible communities, sort mm -hmm. of the head office and other publishers mm -hmm. like around the country. Um, but, but well, we I ran into, I think I told mm -hmm. you, I ran into one of these in Phoenix yes. one time. And of course yes. I was familiar with your publication, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that it was a network. So yes. that's very exciting. Yeah. And how long did you say that it's the whole concept has been going on? Um, for, is, um, let me think, I think it's 15 years okay. since Edible Ojai was started. Edible oh, Ojai. is that where it started? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, and then it's gradually spread, and and um, and it's a it, it it's an amazing network. Like like again, like like we do own and you know decide what to put in our magazine. But so tell me a yeah. typical day. What would oh. what does Sarah do <laughs> when Sarah wakes up? Uh, 
That's a good question. Well, get, get my da- little daughter off to school That's first. That's true. Beautiful little yeah, daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, but it's an, it's an interesting concept because everybody who works for, for the magazine kind of works from their own home office. And, of course. And sure. so it's kind of like we have a virtual <laughs> office. Right. And I will. Oh God, I guess I guess my day starts with well. Too often I'm at my desk, like answering email or, mm-hmm. or sending mm-hmm. email, like mm-hmm. or um, um, assigning stories or, sp- or speaking with advertisers because I, I actually I should say when I say that you know our purpose is to tell stories like we we tell stories through our you know editorial pages about like local farmers and right. fishermen and you know um, people who are doing things and then and then we also provide a place where where um, you know local businesses can tell their stories mm-hmm. through th- through their advertising and mm-hmm. reach and reach readers who really care about food right. and about community and about you know which is certainly all of my friends yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody I hang out with yeah yeah, yeah so mm-hmm. it's a sort of virtuous circle and and our we've discovered our readers are really loyal and enthusiastic oh, and, and read it cover to cover and save it and you oh, know, that's share fantastic. it. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. How many writers do you have? We have many. Um, it's, it's um, you know, it, each issue, like, it depends. Um, like any magazine, it's sort of like how big it is and how many writers you can fit into mm-hmm. each issue is, al- is always sort of a calculus of, uh, you know, how many ad pages you sell because that, that, that will allow you to calculate how many editorial pages you can pay for right. and and um and so but but we we really ha- like dozens of people have written for us really and, and yeah yeah so how do, Sarah, tell us about that because mm-hmm. we're so so okay i just dig deep here if, uh, yeah if somebody wants has mm-hmm. a great idea or a yeah. great story mm-hmm. and wants to talk about it uh-huh. is that something that you could you would be interested in, or would they call you? What, how does that work? Absolutely. It's probably best to email me mm-hmm. at, at mm-hmm. Sarah. Contact you, yeah. Yeah, yeah Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, at com. Right. And, and you know, um, with a message um, talking about the, you know, the topic and y- why the, the person thinks it's in- interesting mm-hmm. and, and why they feel that they should be the person writing it and, and if they can include some writing samples, then we can get an idea of, you know, um, of of their style. Do you get many of those uh, people reaching out to you, or do you have to go out and really research and look and try to find your content and your content providers? Often, um, like myself and Rob and our uh, uh, deputy editor De- Debbie Lerman and and other staff, like uh, often we. Um, we have ideas about <laughs> yes. about what we want and, and wind up assigning them, but but we often have people like inquire and send pitches, and so so it's a mix of of ideas that come from outside and oh, ideas that we get in our travels around. Sure. <laughs> now, have you had any surprises along this journey? Yes. Yes. Can it's, you share some of those? Yeah. It. I guess. I guess it's the the biggest one has been like how much people have embraced it like mm-hmm. how 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 much people like lo- locally like were interested in having a food magazine right yeah right. yeah yeah and and all ages all backgrounds um um just you know and that people you know read it cover you know tell us as i said like that they read it cover to cover and, and, oh, and, and keep save them. it yeah keep them. yeah yeah collect them and um and and we've learned other surprises We've learned so much about our community, and I think a lot of readers would say that too. Like, like that things that they never knew about. Like, um, we have a writer who wrote about um, eating, cook, preparing, and eating jellyfish. <laughs> like, oh. who knew you could e- eat jellyfish? Mm. But, it, but it was the most beautiful and interesting story. Really? And, um, and yeah, yeah. I'll I've, have to look for that yeah, one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not one I would have gone out and thought about, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was by John Cox, who who's, oh, yeah, um, who's also a chef and yeah. amazing writer and photographer. Like triple threat, Qu- yeah. quadruple threat, quadruple like, threat. Yeah, yeah. He can do. He has so many talents. Yeah, oh, that that is <laughs> yeah. really neat. Yeah. yeah. So what's what's your next? I know you've just come out with the the issue that we showed. Okay. Yes. So I know that in yeah. the life of a of a magazine, yeah. that it's it's twenty four seven. You're on to right. the next one. Yeah. Any any 
sneak previews of uh -oh. what we got. <laughs> she didn't know I was going to ask her that. <laughs> We're still, we always like to make it a surprise. Okay. But, but it'll, it'll be, um, it'll, it'll also be a great issue. That one will come out in December. And, so they, um, so yeah. give us the times of year so we can be yes. sure and look. Yes. They come out December, oh. obviously. Yes, March. June and September. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so yeah. It just came out. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. contribute so much to the community. Oh. So tell us oh. how the community can kind of contribute back to you. Oh, thank you. Um it um well one way is to subscribe. It is free. So mm -hmm. so, you know, but 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 if you want to have it delivered to your mailbox like like okay. we, we you can go online on our website and subscribe. And and the other way is is if if for people who have businesses and and um and and you know need to get the word out and and need an advertising channel like right. it, it it is advertising that you know allows us um, to publish because well, yeah. yeah yeah because it is a free magazine and and we we don't actually have a lot of paid subscribers because we do such a good job distributing that's right <laughs> people can find it <laughs> people like me go around and find it but yeah the yeah it's not yeah. necessary at all it's yeah. most a lot of our subscribers are out of town and and sure but but that's that's a way you know send it to your relatives <laughs> so that could be yeah. that could mm -hmm. be a wonderful gift for yes. example as a realtor a, as yes. a closing gift on oh the house. excellent gift. Okay. I, think, I yeah. know that Sunset Magazine mm -hmm. has reached out to, oh, to really? me and to other. Oh, yes, wow. absolutely, and yeah. has said, you know, offer this to your, to your clients. So right. we're sharing marketing ideas here. <laughs> <laughs> but but you say yeah. I love business, obviously. Yeah. But it's interesting because you mm -hmm. say people keep these. Yeah. And oh, so yeah, yeah. as an advertiser, mm -hmm. I want my name to be sitting in front of people yes. in an evergreen format, not something that's going to get thrown out. So Absolutely. A little Absolutely. plug for advertising. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and we love all our colleagues and other, other you know, publications. But, but, but yeah, I, I can say, you know, but, yeah, I know for a fact, because I've read our own reader surveys, that, sure. that, that people, um, you know, um, people do, they, they study, they actually, actually, um, I forget the exact, Exact statistic. It, it actually it's in here, but 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 a remarkable number of people said that said that they always read the ads and yeah, eighty four percent of readers said that they're more apt to frequent a business because it advertises an edible monitor. I remember reading that. Yeah. Uh, in one issue, and yeah. I was very struck by that. And it tells yep. it tells me how very local and how very pertinent your information is. Yeah. So, yeah. have you had a favorite, <laughs> a favorite topic or a favorite article? I'm sure you've got got some. Oh, it's it's so it's it's so hard to choose because but but um, there well in in this issue there there's a there's a great this latest issue like there's a great story about um, about Watsonville of all places like and how the food you know it's it it's it's um it it y you know like it's. It, I'm sure, like like a lot of people who don't live in Watson, right. wind up just like driving past it and not knowing what's there. But well, there's a yeah. lot of agriculture, a lot of berries yeah. and berry picking, and absolutely. So forth over oh there, yes, which is so fun. I've gone over there and picked berries. Oh, don't great. go behind the jammers. Oh, the <laughs> jammers are the people. Those oh. are the wise. The jammers are those who go and pick the oh. berries for jam. And oh. if you go behind the jammers, you get nada. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, I learned that lesson the hard way. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so Watsonville yeah. is kind of a little hidden gem, isn't it? Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, there are all these new little food businesses that are starting up, and and it's and it's quite exciting because and and yeah, I should say, of course, like like there have always been these amazing farms, but but now people are using the produce from the farms to um, to to create like great food and beer and. Why? <laughs> well, I know that, yeah. uh, for example, the, in the, with the berries, that mm -hmm. was a summertime thing. What, yeah. what might be a, an example? So we're going into mm -hmm. fall now. Yes. What would be an example of something that someone could go over to Watsonville and look for as kind of a locavore food okay. event or, or venue? Oh, oh absolutely. Um, Annie Glass, which... Uh, oh, it's um, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Their um, factory and studio, they now have like an event space and, and oh. Actually, we held our um, our our one of our um, when was it September release parties uh -huh. for this new issue, like in in their 
at, like at their factory, which oh, is fantastic. Which, which is this, yeah, really. Yeah. They they convert it into an event space for for events, and they do a lot of food and mm -hmm. wine things. Mm -hmm. um, there's like a great coffee place now called that 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 roasts its own coffee called um, Hidden Fortress. And, um, Hidden Fortress. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. sounds intriguing. Yeah, yeah. And there are lots of wineries and Coralitos, a whole bunch wineries of wineries. Yeah. Coralitos. Oh, yeah. There's a whole Coralitos wine trail. And in fact, we did like if you search our website, we did a, a story about them. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. And they're now. Mm -hmm. Are these the Santa Cruz Mountain wineries, or is this? Are these Additional to that, sir? Um, there, it's a different AVA. Like okay. It's, yeah. See, yeah. I learn something all the time. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And there are new breweries like Elkhorn Slough and um, Corlitos Brewing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. And there's going to be a new complex um, at the um, on the airport road, like of of like, you know, Watsonville Airport Road. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. I believe it's okay. Airport Road. Yeah. Yeah, and it. Um, I should just double check, <laughs> but 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 it's it's a little ways away from starting. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah next to the Air Watsonville Airport. So I think we're yeah. going to have to get all of our viewing <laughs> audience to pick up these fantastic magazines and to read this information because I'm learning a whole lot about what to do. And in fact, I'm going to be doing some of those things. Um, and then the Coralitos. Isn't there a little Coralitos mm -hmm. market? Yes, yes, and there are, and and coming up are the, is the Coralitos Open Farm Tours. When is um, that? In October, and um, actually they have an ad in here, so so I can tell you ex That's exactly because okay. I, for, I forget. We'll have, we'll but have people come on and contact yeah, you to yeah, to find yeah, out. Yeah, it's in October, and yeah. um, and it's a great opportunity to visit um, eleven farms that are all within a. 10 mile radius. Oh my gosh, that yeah. sounds like a very fun thing yeah. to do. Yeah, it's really fun. So oh tell yes, us again. Yeah. That's okay, you don't need to okay, look. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm going to make our all right. audience go to, go to Sarah. She doesn't have okay. to give you all the information. All right. So it's October 8th. October 8th. Yeah. Like yeah. a true journalist, she wants the facts <laughs> straight. I love it. Okay. So in closing, thank mm -hmm. you so much for oh. this. This has been such a treat and so informative. And of course, mm -hmm. you've given me a load of things to do. Tell us one mm -hmm. more time how people can reach you. Oh, yes. Um, if you go to um, ediblemontereybay.com or, or email me at Sarah with an H at ediblemontereybay.com. Beautiful. Yeah. Sarah, thank you so much. Thank I you for you, having oh me. Oh, my thank gosh. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this segment. I learned so much. And guess where I'm going to be? I'm going to be out in Coralitos eating and <laughs> drinking and exploring. And definitely look into picking up the issues. Um, Sarah does have some back issues that I'm going to ask her for. So again, it's been my pleasure. Paula Joy McNabb, Your Town Television Program. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.